Bob loyal viewers from YouTube, we are back in Castelli City while taking naps or something. Because I have a new team member to show to you. It's totally old, but check it out. Esper the Espion. Yeah, now, e now Eevee has become an Espion. I can go kick face. So, yeah, last time we beat Bird, now we get to leave this place. Bob, just say this. Oh, look. It's some mysterious um, guy with crazy techno music. So yeah, he just goes on and on about this, about how to out of how Pokemon, and then he challenges us. So yeah, now I have to go to root for and kick his face. Ah! Face kicking attack! I'm wearing people out the room, he's like, ah, I hate, I hate, I hate so much. How are you? Why are you? No, I hate you, I hate you all. Oh, wow. Yeah, I'm destroying foot traffic. Because I'm so crazy. Here we are. Okay, there's a Pokemon breeder. And we still lose. In this generation, Pokemon breeder, if you, if you go in front of them, and if you beat them, they'll just rematch you. Say what? Dangerous snow? See, I'm just going to explore this area for a little bit. Then we'll go take on Polars. This policeman, Braven, and his growlers. I have mean, name is Braven. It's like, Braven. Okay, I'm, lo I'm lost. Seriously. So, water gun spam for the win. That's my plan. There it is. This expected growlers goes down without much of a fight. Ooh, something more interesting in my crap. Herdier. In case you're wondering why Nickel hasn't featured in so many parts, he's mostly caught up in his homework. And hanging out with his bad influence of a friend, Karan. But I'm fine doing this on my own because my videos are boss! Now, nope, on Dowsing Machine. See, there's uh, the Mystic Water down here. And there's another item up there, but yeah, Mystic Water is always really good without. And there's a couple of fishermen you can challenge, except they're not worth it because they're actually, yeah, I'll just challenge them. Seriously, freshly caught? Oh, you know what? Kill me right now, God. I finally thought it the stupidest people in the universe. Oh, look, it's a basculin. Ah! <laughs> so much razor shell this thing. Do what's not liking you. Counter-attack! Ooh, okay. You didn't die on the first hit? That's a thing now? And now he fails to really do anything with that Aqua Jet. I counter-attack with a Razor Shell that does do something. Yeah, feel the skill, feel the skill. Thank you. Why is he flopping? Ah. You! I want to battle you! I want to defeat you too! I need the experience to train my team! A side... Okay, yeah, this is getting out of control. I'm fighting a psychotic fish and stuff. I'm knocking them around and the little way. Now Magnum, the slightly underleveled, you get to have your shine. You get to spam those thunder shots until you can't spam no more.
Dish out the thunder. Go, man, go. Knock out that masculine. Nice, you got skills. This is actually what he says. This is what he says. It's like. Oh, yeah, you know what? One who's, who's like, oh, yeah. You know, every time I catch a Pokemon, I just release it. And I said, thank you, Pokemon. It was a nice fight. And maybe so. Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention one thing about the desert. So, our eyes were like lighter sand, darker sand. Pokemon are in the darker sand. Ergo, when you walk in the darker sand, they'll catch you and beat you up and drag you back to be eaten alive. Etc. And they have, and they still there are a bunch of Pokemon in the uh, Dark Sand. Let me just mention them. Uh, there's Sandile, Scraggy, and Darumaka, plus Mincino. Trubbish if you're playing Black 2, or uh, Mincino if you're playing White 2. Trubbish and Mincino are not worthwhile, but the others all are. I mean, Scraggy's in the great fight. The Dark Tribe, it's, got, it's like a two weaknesses type. Amazing. And it's got that amazing move of High Jump Kick coming up. Meanwhile, um, let's see. Okay, Darumaka evolves into Darmantan. It's like a physical rush romp. It's so hard, so hard. You don't want to believe how hard. And a uh, Sandile, Final Evolution, Crocodile. Like it's like another sweeper, really fast, really powerful. Though it doesn't get though, the reason you pick Excadrill over that is because it uh, is because Excadrill gets Earthquake at like level 31 or so. You know, 36. But what? But still, it's like early. And I just start sweeping everything with Earthquake and Rock Slide. Like, nothing can resist that type combination. Almost nothing, really. Spark on the Spark with it? Mm. Spark is physical, which means that Thunder Shock is always better. Because Magnum's special attack is double its physical attack. So yeah, he's like, hey, what about you? Yeah, trying to come here. And what up, Chorus? Cool. Oh, he just goes like, device utilized. And the grass is like, what the hell? We need to get more day up. And then they just go away. No! Why did they all go away? We'll have to catch one of those. That would be awesome. This is so uncool, Chorus. And now we're going to battle He's using it on me! Ah! Energetic! 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 <laughs> Hilarious. Actually, no, there's one part where you bow course and it's like epic music. It's like, you just go like, oh yeah, this is awesome. Like, why did they do it here? <laughs> like, I would just cheer them. And I would just keep. I couldn't even battle because I could just be listening to this awesome music. It's crazy. Game Freak really didn't pay attention in this game, or making this game otherwise. Oh no, 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 Thunderwave, no, Thunderwave, ah! I'm paralyzed! I can't do anything! No, no, not Spark! Ooh, so close. But Otto doesn't die easily. And he gets level up. Um, to send in a Magnum. You get the job because you can Sonic Boom him. And do a two winter to continue. I should not find the healing house. I call it the heal house. It's a heal house. Because it's a house where you heal up. That's what they say. That's what they're selling point. Yeah, you'd be surprised. There's actually quite a few awesome things you can find on this route. Spam the Sonic Boom! Seriously? You're using Thundershock on an electric steel type. You know it's 4x resistant and you don't even get stabbed. So, what the hell? So I just defeat Chorus. And he's acknowledging my awesomeness. Thank you. A protein. So yeah, protein essentially just boosts their Pokemon attack and gives and boosts their EVs, which actually stimulates their attack growth. Yeah, with attack. So yeah, now we can just go around and head into houses and get freebies. 
Don't talk to those people, they're random. Let's see. So yeah, talk to the girl. So yeah, he's your Pokemon with the speed higher of something then she'll give you an item. And freebies are always good. So yeah, this girl trades a like, Cardi for Petalil or vice versa if you're playing a white too. It's really nice actually. So I'll go here. Free item, it's the wide lens, which boosts accuracy of all moves by a 10%. It's a really handy item, actually. But only if you're like, running a Pokemon like Metagross or so, who's got like low accuracy, high half damage attacks, like Meteor Mash, Zen Headbutt, etc. And um, more houses. My thing briefly. Uh, I keep the Dowsing Machine on, you know. I'm kind of sleepy as well. Oh god. Well, that's nice. Talk to this guy, he gives you, um, epic guy, citrus berries. Like the ultimate health restore. Thank you, bro. I'm off. It's a record, and you know, but one of the great things they added was they realized, you know, okay, there are two. So, yeah, she's about to make a Pokemon sound. Yeah, I'm still. So, I mean, so, yeah, they actually had areas where your team would get healed, and doctors and nurses trash you could beat, and then they'd heal you. Yeah, like, that's why it was amazing that way. Hey. Okay, random ch chatter. Not like a give. I better take you to the heal house, as I call it. So there's a vending machine here where you can buy a drink that heal your team's HP. And I talk to the woman here, and her crock rock will kill you while she heals your team. That she'll release your team for you because she's actually a disguise in T class. Okay, yeah, it's not funny. I get it. My humor sucks recently. Because mainly I've been consumed with the desire to slaughter every member of my classmates. So, um, yep, now we're taking on Policeman Dell. Because he works for Dell, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he works for Dell. He's much stronger than is the other policeman back there. Of course, right after defeating him, we're going to disobey his orders to, sank, to lay low and march right into a den of outlaws and stuff. I'm saying in stuff to not exactly show who exactly are. Like, actually, not only really outlaws, they're just like the roughnecks and guys who are hanging around beating people up for no reason. I'm like, okay, I'm dealing with the social disease. It's actually a Bon Jovi song, social disease. Oh, whatever. I'm caught on this psychotic train of thought. Repellent time! Must reorder this bag. So yeah, do not use your um, bike here because it gets really draggy. Item. Another policeman. You guys breed like rats or something. Oh no, no, you don't know. So now to the non policeman, Nigo. What kind of name is Nigo? It's a like, deer go. Okay, I'm lost. Again. I'm doing this. Oh, wait. I just feel like my attack got lowered. Sucks for me. 
and her ears working up a big dog sweat thing. I'm never gonna be able to explain her to you. It's impossible. Proven. No! 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 Oh, that was a fail. I'm going on skill. I'm not just a kid. I'm THE kid. I'm actually going like panda. I'm a, a big fat panda. I'm the big fat panda. <laughs> oh, look it, I'm running around this place. And you see, here's the best item here. TM28, dig. And anyway, so maybe we come in here, we're gonna get bushwhacked by roughnecks from every side. I pick the spot that gets two ones. Seriously, he's like, shiny head. Like, shiny head allows me to defeat you. Okay, and so that's just a ridiculous thing. It's like, silver Esther. I have real Esther. It's Esper. He's got the move. Side beam. The item. What was this item again? Twisted spoon? Oh yeah, he has a twisted spoon, so it's cool. My face! Die! See, yeah, Esper is like amazing. Espion. Okay, Espion has a shallow move pool, but that's the only thing that's bad about it. He's got. Well, he has his base 130 special attack and 110 speed. Oh, another guy bushwhacks me. I'm not a kid. I'm the kid. Oh. And here comes the Venipede, who I actually hit super effectively with side beam. Let's see how she likes me now. Esper, set side beam spam to maximum. Side beam spam, maximum, complete. Okay, this I do not hit super effectively. So, um, phase it. Your turn. Skrr. Oh. This thing with my phone on this. Ignore. I look timid. Your face look timid. I catch it from behind. Seriously, a motorcycle in the desert? How is that wild? The Biker Stanley you sends him to zoo bad, which I That was an awkward for a half a second. So another person that I hit super effectively. Asper is just like on a roll. Switching my team members around for a few minutes. Actually, I have no idea how much time there is on this thing. What up? Seriously, you just want to become a bad dude? 
This guy is not good at making life decisions. Let's defeat him. Then we'll show him that being a bad dude is wrong. And then you'll go back to making good life decisions and stuff. Actually, I'm not sure about that last bit. All I know is I wanted to feed him. Nice, beat him. Grab the item. So yeah, there's only one, one last pair of trainers, like a double battle. What up, guys? I'm lost. My face, I'm lost. You're lost. So yes, now I'm fighting a pair of hooligans. It's like two at once. And look at their very cute Pokemon. <laughs> Cottony and Petalo. That's like so hilarious. I need like to copy that down. The hooligans who use um Cottonies and Petalos. It doesn't matter, they're both going down hard against their cutter. Oh, so close. Another kill. Bagman level twenty two. Nice. Don't Did you see these? My cute little Pokemon! <laughs> that was just hilarious. So yeah, Amanda Buzz comes here on Thursdays, and um, there's a couple items in the stand you can only get with, um, what's its face again? Oh yeah, um, Gazza Machine. So that's it for today. Next time we're going into the Desert Resort. So uh, please like, subscribe, and enjoy and all that. Bye.